Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video just without the space, but a lot of water, apparently. Now I realized that in the cinematic, there was a horrible case of missing Kerbals on the decks of these ships, and that's primarily because of the fact that I was having such a rough time keeping those little bastards on there. Apparently the wavy motion of the scatterer mod tends to make them fly upwards in the air when the ship goes down, and then slams them into the deck, so every time I tried to make a video of a ship passing by fully crewed, one or two of them would just suddenly drop dead on the deck. It wasn't working. Not to mention that each, each of these damn ships are about 900 plus parts. So I was rocking almost 2000 parts while I was recording this. I've sped it up in order to make it seem smooth, but trust me, it was like 10 frames per second. And I didn't, I just didn't have enough time, effort, or energy to try to keep the Kerbals from turning into bodies on the deck for no apparent reason. But anyway, yeah, I have no idea why I was inspired to make a sailing ship of the line. I made one a very, very, very long time ago, and I just didn't really go anywhere with it. And then one day I said, you know what, it'd be cool if I could build a ship of the line and have cannons and a deck and a secondary deck and with the new scatterer mod bobbing up and down ocean thing that'd be pretty cool with the splashing and whatnot and for the propulsion system I figured you know what I, I tried to use jets at first but it was just too dumb there'd be a lot of uh, water effects going on around the jets you know the splashing and the stuff and it just wasn't really working that's when it dawned on me that we have propellers now and when I finally figured that out it was like magic the ships would just start moving forward now in high insight I should have maybe angled the cannons a little further down or even put hinges on them, but that would probably be for way future when I go back and rebuild it because this thing, this ship took weeks to perfect and build. When I first made this ship and tried to put it on the oceans of Kerbin, it would always flip over. It would always fall on its side. I tried putting pontoons on each of either side, which made it look ridiculous, but it worked. And yes, before anybody says anything, I did use a thick ton of ore tanks on the bottom of this thing. It was so heavy that the COM was literally at the bottom of the boat, but that did not stop it from tipping. Finally, I just caved in and sat down for like three days straight, worked on expanding the ship, making it wider, just wide, really wide. And on either side of the ship's hull were empty fuel tanks, the big ones. When this, when I finally figured out the ratio that I needed, the ship, it, it, it bobbed up and down in the, in the water, just, it was beautiful. It, it acted like a real ship. I even made the top of the deck of the ship smaller than the bottom and the bottom would kind of come out a little bit like the real hull of a wooden ship. If I could change anything, it would probably be the cannons being able to pitch up and down in order to change the arc. Problem was I was running out of action groups, so I could only tie in one action group for like a pair of cannons and unfortunately the cannons would fire on either side so you saw that in the little mini video extravaganza but for those of you who didn't figure it out already some sort of american ship was hunting down a pirate they found it and there was a big old battle and the pirates won the end <clears throat> and yes cool fact the wheel on the deck actually controlled the rudder so when you spun the rudder or when you use the a and d keys to move left or right that would also spin the wheel and move the rudder at the same time, so it was pretty neat. And let's not forget our beautiful, beautiful friend, the Kraken, made a glorious appearance, forcing me to rebuild half of the ship, but hey, you know, all for the cause. Space, Space call. call. Yeah, so there you go. Not not much to say, actually, other than it was a, a actual... It's, it, it was a... Ooh, it was a bitch. It was a bitch to make. But in the end, it came out really well. Now, since this is not about space, I don't see this video getting many views. But if you want to help with that, please, please leave a like and share this video with your friends. And if I see that it's doing well, I might think about doing something else that's ocean-bound, historical, something or other. Nothing too big. Don't be... Don't be asking for a freaking aircraft carrier because I, I can't do an aircraft carrier with just mark three parts or whatever the frick there are you know me i'm gonna freaking build the thing to look exactly like an aircraft carrier and it's gonna end up being freaking three thousand freaking freaking parts frick my computer will melt but anyway that's it 
for today. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. We also have a membership program if, if you're interested. Pretty cool. Check it out. It's got little emojis and badges and stuff you can put next to your name and whatnot. But anyway, love you all so much. Thank you again. Please hit that like button and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.